We back. We back. It's the Boxing Link. I'm more switching gears from the M- boxing to the NBA. Uh, to the NFL real quick. Got a couple NFL videos and one NBA video. I'm going to top it off with a boxing video. Uh, you know, that's the agenda. And, um, you know, quick five. We're talking about who's better. Who would you rather have? Carson Wentz or Dakota Prescott. Um, Dak Prescott. Cowboys quarterback. Eagles quarterback. And, um, you know, it's funny how... The ties changed last year. Carson Wentz didn't have much, and I think his best receiver was like Jordan Matthews and Nelson Aguilera. Um, him and Zach Ertz, Zach Ertz, uh, they formed a nice little rapport last year that's carrying over from this year. And uh, adding Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith really made a change, and Lane Johnson staying off the uh, juice um, and being the right tackle. And you know, of course, Jason Peters is going to do his thing, one of the better left tackles in the game. And adding, you know, uh, you know. The Gary Blunt and the small wood guy when he's healthy. I mean, their offense is coming from full circle. And then, you know, their defense is, you know, front seven is one of the best in the game. The back end is, you know, it's all right. But the front seven plays well and allows the back end to make some plays. Um, so, it is what it is, man. When you look at, you know, that Prescott, you, you know, sophomore struggles. You know, people are adjusting to him. You know, it's basically the same Dallas Cowboy offense. People are getting up to play the offensive line. They they lost, you know, their left guard. They lost their right guard, I believe, uh, or whoever. They lost two offensive linemen. One went somewhere else and one retired. So they're struggling with that as well. Um, and Zeke is going through what he's going through. Seems like he gained some weight. And it's all on Prescott's arm. You know, Prescott, you know, Des Bryant ain't what he was. You know, Switzer and Cole Beasley, I know what's going on. He had Cole Beasley twice last year, last week. For touchdowns, I believe, and Terrence Williams has just never lived up to the hype coming out of Baylor. So it is what it is. But at the end of the day, nobody showed Carson Wentz any sympathy last year for not having any weapons really as well. So just look at that as well. And then got to say Carson Wentz is the better quarterback um, this year. You know, Dak has played well, but he hasn't translated to wins. And as a quarterback, you really judged on wins and losses more than you judged on stats. Um he was talking about attribute from attribute. I mean, I, I like Carson Wentz, man. I like the big arm. I like the accuracy downfield. He got the mobility, um, mobility in the pocket as well to stay in the pocket to keep his eyes downfield. Now he has some weapons. He has what Zeke had last year minus a really consistent running game. So, you know, I mean, he has what Dak had last year minus a consistent running game from the Eagles. It's, by, it's basically by running back by committee. Um, and he's showing up when you give him some weapons. He just looks more polished to me as a quarterback than Prescott. Prescott looks like a, a system guy, like a, just a pure system guy that he's just working because everything is right around him um, as far as it was last year, and people couldn't figure out the offense, and now they adjust it. They're not able to adjust to Carson Wentz because Carson Wentz has new weapons, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, maybe next year Carson Wentz might, you know, be in the gutter. But right now I think Carson Wentz is playing better. Who would I rather have? I'd rather have Carson Wentz, and I said that since day one. I like Dakota Prescott, but Carson Wentz just has something – it's something about Carson Wentz that tells me he's going to be the best NFC East quarterback for a long time to come. Um, he has a bigger arm than me. I like his deep ball. I mean, he's just something about him. He just has a, a certain swagger that he plays the game with. And Prescott just seems like he's just a assistant guy. And everybody in the M- in NFL is pretty much a system guy. But it's just something like something about him that I can't put my finger on that's missing from him. You know, maybe, you know, he's lacking some weapons. Some of his weapons are getting old and lethargic. You know, I mean, Dez isn't playing well. Zeke is dealing with what he was dealing with. And like, he gained some weight. Terrence Williams hasn't showed up. So, it's time for them to kind of – the Cowboys are going to have an ultimatum. It's either they're going to go all in and get some good defenders or they're going to get Dak Prescott some offensive weapons. You know, that's what it's going to have to be. He need a number one receiver. He need a number two receiver. They got slot receivers. And they need a replacement for Jason Witten, you know, eventually. But his number one and two receivers are really num- – it's really, you know, two number twos are – or two threes on in some cases, you know, Dez is not playing like a one or a two, and Terrence Williams might be a really a three or four. So I mean, you know, it's difficult to judge right now because Dak doesn't have everything he around him, but he's still putting up numbers. He's still doing his part, but he's not winning. He's taking the blame for it. But from a talent standpoint, I think Carson Wentz is just a better quarterback from a talent standpoint. The arm, the mobility. The mobility in the pocket, the poise. I mean, Dak has all that, but it seems like Carson Wentz is one up in them in damn near every category. And a lot of people are not going to agree with me on that. But I just I just see a, a, a confident, very confident quarterback in Carson Wentz. And I just think he's better than Dakota Prescott right now. You know, that could change, but I just think Carson Wentz is the better quarterback. I thought he was a little bit better last year and this year, just didn't have a supporting cast last year.